WKBN 27 First News starts in-depth coverage now with breaking news. Good morning and thank you for waking up with us. I'm Samantha Bender. We begin with breaking news from the Canfield Fair where shots were fired last night. Still lots of questions surrounding the incident that occurred and how the fair plans to respond to this. First News reporter Hannah Erdman is live outside the fairground police station with updates. Hannah, good morning. Sam, good morning. We are learning brand new details this morning of everything that happened overnight here at the fair. Sources tell us 11 people were arrested from the incident that broke out. One was a juvenile that was taken to JCC for a weapons charge. Now, all this chaos happened around 10 last night, and a few of our reporters were actually out on their day off enjoying the fair, and they saw all this chaos firsthand. Our digital reporter, Jennifer Rodriguez, was here enjoying her time when she saw the chaos and the fight breaking out that led to the gunfire. She says that it, they were pepper spraying people as well in the middle of the chaos. We also found out from sources that the fight broke out when the tractor pull was letting out. Last night, Canfield police told us they found a gun and clothing they believe to belong to one of the suspects. Now in the video here, it looks a lot more calm than I was describing, and that's because this is when they were trying to get people out as safely as possible. Police were doing their best to make sure everyone got out safely into the parking lot so they could make their way home. But witnesses tell us that for a period of time, the fair was on lockdown. No one in and no one out. And some were even saying they were here for a couple hours after the incident took place and weren't able to get home till past midnight. Now, there are a lot more questions that still need answered this morning, specifically about the fair itself. I have reached out to fair officials and we still haven't gotten any new information from them on exactly what's next. Some of those questions I'm asking myself is, will there be heightened security now that there was a threat that took place last night? And also, what exactly is going to happen? Are there going to be new hours? And with the concerts happening tonight and tomorrow night, will there be any changes for concert goers as they're headed out the door? We are hoping to learn more today from the fair officials and we'll bring you the latest information on air and online. For now, live at the Canfield Fairgrounds, Hannah Erdman, First News, Sunday morning.